the questions people always ask me in my workshops or classes is, Karen, I want to sell to Walgreens. Now, how do I do that, right? And so obviously I take 15 hours to explain how to get products into stores with my retail MBA program, but I'm going to give you kind of a quick tip on Walgreens. And actually, one of my students did this, and um, and he he's ultimately you know have grown that business. And so so what happens is when you're a small to mid sized manufacturer product company, you're ultimately trying to go after Walgreens, which is a monster, right? They have thousands of stores, and everybody wants to sell to Walgreens. And and so sometimes again, when you're dealing with these larger retailers like the big big guys, they're ultimately a little bit harder to get into because everybody's clamoring to get into those stores. So one of the things that you can do if you're having challenges there is to notice that there's another company called Dwayne Reed. And Dwayne Reed is a, uh, another drugstore. And they, are, they have a couple hundred stores. Now, why do I mention Dwayne Reed? Well, Dwayne Reed and Walgreens are the same company. They're owned by the same company. And so one of the reasons why most people don't get their products in the stores um, is because maybe the buyer doesn't want to deal with all the paperwork to add on a new product. I mean, it takes time for them to get you know, new codes. It's a whole thing for a buyer to add a new product. And so if you're kind of a newer product, sometimes they're, they're just kind of lazy and they just don't want to deal with it, right, unless, uh, unless you go make some money elsewhere. And so ultimately what happens is when you're dealing with, like, say, a Walgreens, sometimes that's probably the reason why they're not going to deal with the smaller guy. It doesn't always happen, but it does happen. So the cool thing is, is that when you go and say approach Dwayne Reed, and if Dwayne Reed is interested in your product, and they only have a couple hundred stores, and it's a lot easier to get that product into that store, well, what happens is when they take you on as a vendor, you get a vendor number. And guess what? That vendor number will work for Walgreens as well. And so that's pretty cool, because then you can go back to Walgreens and say, hey, Walgreens, I have a vendor number, so it's not going to be so complicated for you to, to, to test out my product. And so ultimately, that's a really great tip of getting your product into Walgreens. Mm -hmm.